Hi, welcome to NotoCut 2021 video tutorial. Another one in the 2D Basics series. Today I want to talk about layer filters, how to create them, how to use them. So I want to take a look at my layer manager. And I've already created some layer filters here. And let's use one, maybe first floor. And you will see that layer list shows only the first floor layers. I have one for the basement, one for the ground floor, and one, for example, for the furniture. So this filter will not only filter that layer list here, but also up there and up here as well. In order to make it work completely, you have to change one system variable. Why? Let's go for a new and empty drawing. You will notice there are already two filters, one for all layers and one for all used layers. So this one doesn't work. Because if I take a look, there is no object. So all those layers, apart from layer 0, which is the active layer, should be filtered away. That's kind of a bug, because you have to change one variable, and that would be the show layer usage system variable, which you can do over here with the settings. There's an option, indicate layers in use. And if you hover over there, there should be displays icons. And there you have it, the show layer usage variable. So activate this one, confirm. You have to do this only once, then it will work. And if I go now to that filter, all used layers, it will filter just for layer zero because all the other layers are empty and are not referenced in any way. Let's close that drawing here. Now, there are two kinds of filters. There is a property filter and there is a group filter. Let's go for the property filter. I want to call this one room or rooms. You should use a name which explains itself. Now you've got two tables, one with all the layers and one which is empty, but you've got the same columns. And these columns are for the properties of those layers. And now I can filter for every property or for two properties or for four properties, whatever you want. I will go for the names. So let's click there and there will be automatically an asterisk put in there. So all those layers which have rooms in their name start with a different word or combination of letters or numbers. So that is sort of a placeholder for all these prefixes. And then I type rooms and all those rooms layer are filtered here. I could add another asterisk at the end if, for example, I had windows wooden, windows uh, plastic, you could filter for those as well. And you would have to add that asterisk because otherwise the program would not filter those layers. And of course, I could now filter for layers which include rooms in their name and, for example, for a certain color or certain line depth or certain line weight and so on. Let's close this one. Now let's take a look at the group filters. So I want to make a new group filter and I will call this one yellow objects. And I want to filter those layers which are yellow and therefore Objects have 
yellow objects on them. So this filter is empty, the list is empty. Why? Because you have to right click and add layers. And I want to pick one door from every floor. Confirm this by right clicking and let's go back to our layers. And I will see now that yellow objects filter filtered three layers. First floor doors, basement doors, ground floor doors. And I could check right now. Let's right click, select them all, deactivate them. And so if I got them all, there should be no yellow objects anymore in my drawing visible. And it is. So that would be one way to do a group filter. Sec a second way would be the following. I want to go for all. Now let's do a new one and call this one equipment. And I want to have all furniture, all electronics, all sanitary in that equipment filter. So how to do this? I will select them here. By pressing control you can select more. Sanitary, electronics, furniture, sanitary electronics, furniture, sanitary, and then drag them just with your mouse into that filter here. So now I've got an equipment filter which filters all the electronics, furniture and sanitary layers of that drawing. And I think I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.